What are you looking for exactly in terms of regulation? Is this about regulating Robinhood and, and, and the markets themselves, or is this about regulating uh, the retail investor? I think right now the question is Robin Hood. Uh, I've been very proud to see a company like Robin Hood emerge. This gives uh, new investors an opportunity to invest. Uh, it levels the playing field for the, the small investor. But I was very disappointed to see uh, when they ha halted trading. And I think that needs to be explained in this hearing. I'm generally against more regulations. Every time Congress tries to regulate Wall Street, unintended consequences happen. Uh, the Dodd-Frank comes to mind. I think that hurt uh, Main Street. I think that hurt a lot of small businesses and a lot of homeowners. So I don't want to see Congress overreact. But I think Robin Hood owes an explanation as to why they halted trading. And if, if there was a reasonable explanation where some law or regulation needs to be changed, then I think Congress needs to act. If Robin Hood acted badly, I think they need to be held accountable and possibly pay a fine. But uh, as for more regulations, I I'm not ready to, to go in that direction yet. Ms. Edwards, what, what's your take on this? Who, 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 is there somebody that should be held responsible for this? Well, I think we don't know yet. I mean, what's interesting, obviously, Robinhood and other kinds of apps that have given small investors, you know, a window into the into the market have really democratized the market. But at the same time, we need to make sure that there are rules in place that um, that enable Robinhood to function so that it doesn't, you know, destroy the market and so that it protects um, small investors. What I'm more interested in is the the um, opening that this may be to looking again at the operation of hedge funds, and um, they still remain largely unregulated in the market. Um, they are engaged in uh, in behaviors that you know supposedly a set of rules is going to um, prevent small investors from engaging in. And so I, I want the same rules to apply whether you're a small investor or you're a professional investor. And we need to make sure that that doesn't cause the kind of you know, volatility in the market that happened in January. I want to ask you both this question, which is, what are we trying to solve for? And the reason I ask what we're trying to solve for is, it seems to me, uh, for better or worse, as, as fair as we want the markets to be, we, want it to, we, all, we all talk about how we want a level playing field. I'm not sure whether that's something we should be even trying to solve for in certain cases. And the reason I, I mention that is, by default, the, the hedge fund with more money, with more resources, with more access to data, is always going to have to some degree or, or should have an advantage over an individual investor. However, obviously, we've seen hedge funds that have made terrible bets along the way, and we've seen individual investors who uh, have, have, on occasion, made tremendous bets. Congressman? Well, well, that's part of the investing process. That's part of supply and demand. And I don't think that Congress needs to step in and overregulate. Uh, call me skeptical, but I don't have confidence that Maxine Waters will, will have the silver bullet solution to this problem. I think right now we need transparency. I think Robin Hood needs to be transparent. Uh, I don't have sympathy for hedge funds that shorted a bunch of stocks and uh, sustained big losses. We should never go in and bail out Wall Street again. That happened before I came to Congress, but it's something that uh, certainly is a stain in the history of Congress. Uh, but so I, I think that this hearing is important for transparency. It will give everyone an opportunity to uh, explain what happened. And then I think we can uh, take the additional steps if needed to see that uh, this never happens again with respect to suspending trading on a platform. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.